Rakshabandhan is around the corner and if you're looking for something to dress stylish and in an Indo-fusion look then this video is perfect for you because I'm going to show you different type of Indo-Western Salwar suits that you can try for the season. Hi and welcome to g3fashion.com with me Aarti, your one-stop solution to dressing in Indian ethnic wear and style guide. So the first one we'll be talking about is this one which is actually in a skirt and a pants style silver suit. As you can see that this is a four piece, I'm holding the pants which is actually a sleek pattern and you can also see some stripes and tribal prints. Plus if you also see the skirt, it's actually an overlayer which is tied from the side. Now if you're those ladies who are a bit conscious about your pear shapes and you want to cover your problem areas, you're not comfortable with a pants style with a short fab limb, then you can go for something like this because you can see it's going to cover your problem areas. And if we talk about the embroidery and the style, this is actually a midriff fab limb and you can see that it's got uh, traditional embroidery all over it into subtle colors and nothing too bright so if you're a person who is a bit scared to wear young colors or bright and vibrant colors you can go for something like this plus the base of the color is a midnight blue now midnight blue is also in for the season so you can definitely carry something like this and to last top it off you can also see it comes with a dupatta and the dupatta also has a little bit of scattered uh, booties going on over there and also a trimming of the same type of work that you can see over here which is also present in the border so that's about this one now let's move on to the next one all right next we're going to be talking about the karara that you can see over here now kararas have been in trend since a very long time but what i've got over here is slightly a different version of the basic kararas and you can see it's in the traditional prints of indian art plus you can also see there is a little bit of subtle work of a thin chain stitch and also a little bit of kalkatti work going on in the bust area over here and the waistline and it's also an asymmetrical pattern of the lacing in the neckline plus if you look at the garara from the bottom over here you will also notice the same type of work border is also done on the thigh level or the above knee level and it's a very basic design but you can see that because of the prints it does give an illusion of an indo-western or an indo-fusion look and it comes with a tissue silk kind of a dupatta again with the same type of golden custom work uh, border and also small booties scattered around and again if uh, you notice the sleeves are also into a harmonizing look it's a full sleeves now full sleeves are also in trend so if you're someone who is into a plus size figure or you're into big sizes and you are conscious about your arms you can definitely go with something like this which is in a full sleeve because these are in trends and plus it's also got a trimming in the elbow area so it gives an illusion of thinner arms so yes this is something you can carry for a Raksha Bandhan as well so now let's move on to the next one all right next we've got something again which is in a dark blue combination and you can see it's got some traditional colors which is red green and white and also a little bit of yellow or mustard now if you look at the top section it is into an indiffusion look because the embroidery over here is a traditional embroidery and you can also see that it is made into a flared kalidar cape though it is a jacket and not just a cape because you can see it's also got sleeves for the comfort level so this is actually an overlayer wear inside it is a bustier also in the same type of design of embroidery it's a spaghetti and you can also see that it's paired with this full flared palazzo pants over here and if i talk about the prints over here it is close to traditional uh, badla and also bandage kind of a design although it's just a normal prints and this type of embroideries and traditional indian prints are also much in trend and you can also carry something like this for festivals or also parties and yeah now let's move on to the next one now if you're looking for something that's completely different and not from the real silver suit category you can also go with something like this which is an indo western into a priesthood sari look now it comes with a skirt effect that you can see over here and of course this one over here has a little bit of ruffles in different layers and tires plus the fabric is georgette so it's very much flowy and and also there is some prints going on here which is floral and fauna but it's more of a vintage kind of a sari design or an indo western sari also if you look at the bustier top which is paired with this one has a little bit of effect of custom and a little bit of small beads of a white which is pearl so it gives them festive and indo western kind of a fusion look to it now if i also switch this to the side so as you can see the the dupatta or the draping of this indo western look 
has the gazed effect which is right on your hip line over here and it goes from the back to the front. Now if you're someone who is into a pear shaped or you're someone who is into an apple shape, do not try a style like this because it's just going to add more budge. This type of styles of Indo Western dresses are perfect for those who are slim or if you're an hourglass then you can definitely try something like this. Now for those who are looking for a slight modern combination of your Indo Western Silvar suits, then you can go for something like this. Again, it's in a pistachio color and yes, this type of colors have been in trend over a decade now. Pastels are your first choice for any type of occasion or festival. Now this one you can see over here is into a palazzo, of course, as you can see. And it is paired with a simple bust here. Now it's a monotone combination. You can see the prints are the same of the bust, the plazo and also the overlayered shrug style uh, poncho over here. Now the only difference is that the poncho is open from the center so it's more like a jacket overlayer than a real poncho that's supposed to be in its original stitched effect. And you can also see it doesn't have a lot of embroidery so if you're someone who is not into traditional or ethnic embroidery, you can go with something like this which has minimal style of mirror work over here which you can see adjust on the front opening of the jacket style. So yeah, this is the simplest design that you can go for and there are more variations of plazo bustier and ponchos or jackets which are in open style like this. And now let's move on to the other design. So now if you're looking for something bright and Indian traditional colors for the festive season like Raksha Bandhan, then you can definitely go with a red that I have over here. Now the style of this Indo Western dress is into a short or a knee length anarkali which is an A-line as you can see and also it's it's in a transparent effect if you can see there's no lining underneath the bust line now if I talk about the bust line or the yoke over here you can see that it's got this raw silk fabric and the print which is made on it is made in a way that looks like an ikat kind of a design so again Indian traditional prints have been included into this design and if you look at the bottom it is plain it is into a flared sharara look now if I talk about the dupatta again it's got a lace trimming or a patta of the guta patti and you can see it's into a shaded effect plus if you notice it's a shot with dupatta now most of the indo western dresses or silver suits that you'll be seeing these days will have a shorter with dupatta or even a dupatta which isn't actually dupatta but a stall so this type of dresses are definitely into trend so if you want to try something which is more of a traditional but contemporary design then you can go for something like this so the last design is again a contemporary or a fusion design of a long jumpsuit which also looks Looks like you're wearing plazos and also a top but actually it's a jumpsuit or you can say a play suit. Now you can also see that it's made into kalis at the leg level over here and the fabric is actually silk. If you also look at the yoke line area over here it has a little bit of embroidery which is again in Kolkata work in the just the front or the top yoke line over here a little bit of beads as well and the opening is also available on the back side over here it has the same type of embroidery a little bit of detailing of the same embroidery on the waistline over here and also on the side panels over here which are actually your pockets so this is a very comfortable kind of an Indo Western design that you're looking at and plus blacks are also in for the season and you can definitely try blacks for festivals like Raksha Bandhan as well so that's all about the different type of Indo Western silver suits that you can wear for the festive season or party wear. If you want to shop the collection and see more, you can find it on g3fashion.com or you can also use G3 Plus video shopping service. Until next time, when I'm back with another video, I'll see you again. Bye bye.